Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of Mesil Sesharim. We're in the 90th Shir already, in the 6th chapter, in the Be'er Midas HaZvizos, where we're learning about the attribute of Zvizos, of zealousness, and being alacritous and doing things quickly. And we mentioned yesterday, based on the Pasuk from Shlomo HaMelech, from King Solomon, and he says that he passed the field of a lazy person, and he noticed that there were thorns and there were thistles grown up Everywhere the field was unkept, it was impossible to grow anything in such a field. So that's the Pashat Abshat, that's the simple explanation. A person who is lazy doesn't tend to his, his, his needs and the things that he has. Besides the simple explanation, which is obviously true, that's the simple to understand. That's what happened over here. El stay ha'atzel mamish. The person goes to the field of a lazy person. He made darshu by chacham zichon ivracha. But our sages teach us the following: midrash noya, beautiful midrash. Zelus shayna bihine olo kulo kim shaynim. It says in the verse that there were many thorns that grew in this field. Shemavakish perushal parshaveinu meitzi. It's really referring to one's Torah learning, and it means that a person is trying to understand an explanation in the learning that he's doing, and he can't find it. He doesn't understand. Kosu panav, he covers his face, or its face is covered. Mitoich shalai amobam, since that he doesn't work hard. To understand the words of Torah, hu yeshev umetames atahor umetayas atame. He sits and he says those things which are pure, he impurifies. And those things which are impurified, he purifies. He gives the exactly the opposite of what's supposed to be in halacha. And he bursts down the fence of the Tamir Chacham, of the Torah scholars. What is his punishment? A person learns, he doesn't understand what he's learning, so then he doesn't try any harder because he's too lazy. So that whatever is tahor, he says, is tamay. Whatever is pure, he says, is impure. Whatever is Tameh, he says, is Tahar. Whatever is, in, whatever is really pure, he says, is impure, vice versa. And he breaks down the fences that the Chachamim, that the great sages of, of the generations, have set up for us. So what is his punishment going to be, says the, says the Ramchal. Shlom the Perish, King Solomon says elsewhere, Uparitz Gadar Yishchenu Nachash, a person who breaks down the fences, the protective guards that the Chachamim, that the sages have set up for us to make sure that we don't stumble into sin and we break them down because of our laziness, Yishchenu Nachash, the snake is going to bite us. Ba'ainu, what does that mean? Kira Se'ot Sleinu Ba'abas Achas. The evilness of the lazy person or the, the bad results that the lazy person is going to bring about to himself doesn't happen all at once. Elamad Madba comes little by little. Without him even realizing and feeling what's going on. He goes from one bad place to another. Until he is completely drowning over here in the insidiousness of his laziness. He got himself into such a bad place because he was too lazy, he didn't adhere to the commands, he wasn't, didn't take things seriously, he was too lackadaisical about everything, he was very nonchalant in his observance, and little by little by little, that laziness ends up causing terrible things that he does. He goes from one bad place to the next, until he is completely drowning and immersed in all of this. If you look at the reality, what did he do? Did he go actively and decide he's going to be such a bad person? No. He was just lacking the effort and the hard work that he needed in order to understand, in this case, to understand his learning properly. And then that brings him to the point where he doesn't learn Torah really at all. And because he doesn't learn, when he does come to learn, finally, eventually, he sits down, he's going to be lacking the understanding and the clarity. If that would be the end of his, of his 
wicked ways over here or his bad ways where he just immersed in the wrong pshat, the wrong understanding of Torah, that would be enough. However, but he gets worse. What does he do? He not only does he not understand, he decides to explain things in the wrong way completely. He reveals aspects of of the Torah which is not according to the halacha. The yash chisa emes. He destroys the truth. The haf chehu v'yavur al hatakonos, and he ends up he ends up turning things around, and he tramples all over the the fences that are chachamim made. The yifut says hagdarim. He breaks down their fence. The seifel kalyo k'mishpat kol paritz gadar, and in the end, what's going to be like? It says he's going to be bit by the snake. Like everybody else who breaks the ghetto, who destroys the fences, which Chazal put up for us so lovely, lovingly to make sure that we keep the Torah properly. King Solomon said about this, I saw this and I was my heart seized the, the learning over here. He's bananti ala dava azeh. I delved into this idea. The roisi goyd la roshim, but I saw the terrible evil that's in it. Shu keeres ahoy lechum is pashet. It's like poison from a snake that goes and it spreads maad maad little by little. Vein pulosa ni keres ala misa. You don't even realize the poison is in there. You might not even feel the bite of the snake until it's too late, until the person dies. Bezehu, and that's what it means. Machenais, machtenumais, machibuk yadayim. A little bit of sleep, a little bit of poison, a little bit of slumber, a little bit more poison. Machibuk yadayim lishkov. A little bit of folding your hands behind your head and relaxing over there and chilling out on the beach. A little bit more poison. Uba kemahalich veishechu machzocha kiish magen, and then the enemy comes to destroy the person. Says the Ramchal, it's referring to laziness. If a person is lazy when it comes to their learning, if they're lazy when it comes to their Yiddishkeit, if they're lazy when it comes to their mitzvahs, what's the result going to be? At the end of the day, a person is going to end up not only pushing off the beautiful world that HaKadosh Baruch has given us, the treasure house of mitzvahs, the connection to Torah, the connection to Hashem, but we're actually going to, to miss interpret, and we're going to utilize the Torah for the wrong things. It'll be like a poison inside of us. It'll be destructive, the way that we distance ourselves from mitzvahs and from Yiddishkeit and Torah. And just like this person is bit by the snake, doesn't even feel what's going on until it's too late, so too the laziness is going to create that before a person realizes what's going on, it's going to be too late. He can chas v'chalila walk away from a life of Torah and a life of mitzvahs, all because of the inertia and the inability and the laziness with the lack of enthusiasm to be involved purely in the world of Yiddish, kite, of Torah, of mitzvahs, of midas, of character traits, of Yirah Shemaim, of Amuna. If only, says the Ramchal, a person would just try a little bit harder, push themselves, as we're going to see soon how to do that, then Be'ez HaShem, the Torah, would be dear to us. Mitzvahs would be our greatest delight and our pleasure in this world. And any time that we would see ourselves getting too lazy about our obligations in this world, we'd find the inner strength to motivate ourselves in excitement to do the rats and the richa to do the will of Hashem. All the best.